as we're talking about training camp. Um, as a former NBA player, what does the last week typically like entail before training camp starts up, Eric? Uh, do you take a week off to have to prepare for the season, or is it like you know right before you know your school starts up again? Your family takes a little vacation to the beach, and then you get back on Saturday. You got to school on Monday. I mean, how, how does that work for uh, last week before training camp? Uh, it's, it really depends on the player. Um, typically, for me, excuse me, I I kind of when the season ended. He took, I took some time off. Then I would start cardio, um, start, you know, on the court with not basket, you know, not playing basketball games, just, you know, drills and shooting. And then you eventually start playing basketball, maybe later in the summer and you kind of August and you take that until after Labor Day. And then usually after Labor Day, you start getting with players and trying to you know, doing things together. Um, and you kind of build that up until like the week before um, training camp. By that time, you should have built up pretty much most of your conditioning for training camp. Um, your strength and conditioning should have built, been built up. So the one thing I didn't do before training camp was I might have shot, but I didn't play much basketball. Mm. I would do cardio, but I didn't play any basketball at all mm. the week before. Was that more of a norm or was that an Eric Snow thing? It, it was more of a norm. Most guys pull back from basketball. Interesting. Um, okay. Um, just that, that week before, definitely the weekend before, but that week before guys would maybe do drills and shooting, but not many people actually played basketball. Over the summer. Yeah. Like, no, no, that week before. Oh, that week specifically. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, week, the week before is what we're talking about. Like, most guys okay. kind of stepped away from that. Um, but – Guys, still, whatever you needed to kind of keep your – whatever you felt you needed to come somehow keep your conditioning on that level, because because really your conditioning was really truly about getting through training camp. That's what the conditioning was for. And training camp was to get you in basketball shape. That's what training camp was supposed shake, to be. Shake off that rust, right? Well, was, well, from a conditioning standpoint, so a lot of guys come in shape. But being in shape and being in basketball shape are two different things. So being in, but you got to put yourself in in position to go through training camp and the two a days and the rigorous amount of time going through that to then get in basketball shape to be able to now play 30, 40 plus minutes a game and play it at a high level. Yeah, I think that's what Harden was alluding to um, when they were talking about every year and the differences and how, like, he's gotten – he's took the season and preseason and into the season to get into shape, whereas I think this year he's already – he's kind of – it sounds like he's doing more what you did and what most players do, which is already kind of getting a good shape and then basketball shape at this time. Yeah. Whereas instead of, like, coming into camp not in shape at all – and then using that to get in good shape, and then using the season to get in basketball shape. Yes. So yeah, we're, we're, their their training camps are in the preseason are all shorter than ours were. Which which means you should probably become even more prepared now than you used to come, right? Because you're going, you'll be into the games more often, and you don't have as many mm -hmm. preseason. We play eight preseason games. Dang. Um, yeah. And we training camp was four weeks, so we played. We would we would have a training camp at least what ten days before we ever played a game, before we played a preseason game. Wow, yeah. So it wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm nice sure the I'm sure the coaches preferred it back then, though. More time to kind of yes. I'm sure Scheme, yeah. game plan, know what you're going to do. So, like, oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, a lot of them, you know, didn't like preseason games. They felt like that was just an off day for guys. Like, preseason games pretty much was an off day for us. Because especially if they cut your minutes. Um, but it was <clears> – <throat> it's different. I mean, a lot of what we went through was the reason why a lot of the guys nowadays, they do have the time off because it was so hard on your body. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, based on the the calendar I'm looking at here, it says Sixers go from uh, Citadel September 27th to October 2nd. 
And then the the next day they head to Brooklyn for the first uh, preseason game, October third, um, against Brooklyn for the uh, open up the NBA preseason for us. So is you were never. What's that, Eric? Is him his plan? I don't know. He's apparently going to be on JJ Reddick's podcast tomorrow, so I think we might get some insight on uh, you know how things are going with him. No, yeah, I'm just wondering is he going to play? I would, I would imagine he'll play in November the game. I'm just you know he's going to play early. You would we'll think, see. yeah. That'll be a big topic on the show. <laughs>